On Point with Craig's Investment Partners. The information provided here is general in nature. It's not financial advice. It doesn't take into account your financial situation, objectives, goals or risk tolerance. All investments are subject to risks and none are guaranteed. So before you make any investment decisions, we recommend you contact an investment advisor. For more information about our services in that regard, you can go to our website, which is craigsip.com. Welcome to On Point. I'm Mark Lister, Investment Director at Craig's Investment Partners, and I'll be talking about a range of topics, including economics, portfolio strategy, investor education, and anything else that's happening out there in financial markets. Morning, team. I hope you're all well. I've got a few key messages today for all of you out there that have been sitting on the sidelines in bank term deposits. Now, I know you've really been enjoying those attractive interest rates, 5%, maybe even 6% or above, but it might soon be time to ditch those deposits and get some of that capital working a little bit harder. Term deposit investors have had it pretty good lately, but the clock is absolutely ticking and that dynamic will soon change because interest rates are headed lower at some point and investors that are sitting comfortably on the sidelines need to think about that now and prepare for it because if you take too long, you'll not only miss opportunities elsewhere, but you will be facing a fairly hefty fall in income over the next few years. Interest rates are at the highest levels we've seen in 15 years, so it has become much easier to earn a steady, reliable income from your savings. A six-month term deposit today is offering about 6%, so if you're lucky enough to have a nest egg of, let's say, $250,000, you can generate a monthly income of $1,250 before tax. However, remember that term deposit rates tend to follow the official cash rate, the OCR, quite closely. And because of that, they're on borrowed time. The OCR is at 5.5% at the moment, which is the highest we've seen since 2008. And it's extremely likely that the next move will be down. So I think the only question there is when that first cut comes. And that will, of course, be a function of how the economy develops and how quickly inflation slows from here. Now, the inflation rate in New Zealand is still sitting at 4.7%. So that is down from the peak of 7.3 from a year or two ago, but it's still well above the Reserve Bank's target band of between 1% and 3%. However, The Reserve Bank does not need to wait until inflation is within that range before it can cut the OCR. The Reserve Bank's remit is to keep inflation between 1% and 3% over the medium term. And that typically means between 18 months and 3 years. So when the Reserve Bank is confident that economic activity is slowing and that inflation is headed toward 2% within a year or two, that will be the green light for OCR cuts. And financial markets have become increasingly confident that we could see that first OCR cut at the August meeting, which is less than five months away. And when that happens, if that happens, the OCR will keep falling from there on. So the upshot here is that anyone sitting comfortably in term deposits is facing a declining income stream in the months and years ahead. In the past three years, the six-month deposit rate has been, on average, about half a percent above the OCR. So at the moment, OCR 5.5%, term deposit rate's about 6%. So that is that half percent premium has been the difference between the two. And if market forecasts for the OCR are correct, this is financial market forecasts rather than economist forecasts, if market forecasts for the OCR are correct, the term deposit rate will be closer to 5% 12 months from now, and it'll be approaching 4% a year after that. So in terms of that term deposit income you've been enjoying, if you look out one year, you'll be getting 13% less from your term deposits than you are today. And within two to three years, you'll be getting 30% less, which is a pretty hefty fall in income. So I guess the key message is that short-term deposits are offering great value right now, but don't get content. Within five months, interest rates could already be falling. And after that first cut, they're likely to keep falling. So if that happens, you will be facing much less attractive reinvestment rates 
and a declining income stream. So rather than waiting for the herd to catch on, I think savvy investors should take advantage of this opportunity now and make hay while the sun is still shining. That This changing dynamic will reverberate across other asset classes too, which means there's a window to take some action early. Right now, investors can lock in quite attractive yields from high quality fixed income securities, and you can do that with maturities that will stretch out years rather than months. The local share market as well, it's been out of favour for the last few years against a backdrop of high interest rates. It might start to attract more attention from investors as well. So in my opinion, it is time to ditch those deposits and get some of that capital working a little bit harder for you. Thanks for listening all. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.